Six years ago, I never would have imagined myself working on the forefront of space and technology on the new launch vehicle for NASA. The opportunity to work on a new design for the new launch vehicle that's going to take us someday to Mars, I couldn't pass that opportunity up. I get to work on real life projects, and not only real life projects, but building vehicles that travel to space. It was very exciting to watch the Ares 1X launch. Uh, I was a little nervous, uh, a lot of anticipation. We've all worked so hard over the last four or five years. During the Ares 1X launch, it was exciting and a big relief to see all the efforts of all those individual people who worked on that motor come to fruition. Historically, the first couple launches of a new vehicle don't necessarily go smoothly, but that went more smoothly than I think anybody could have imagined. Finally, the, uh, the launch director, you know, says, uh, you know, you're, you're go for launch. And right when he said that, I just had these, like, chills going through my body of, it's going to happen, this time is it, and I can tell. It took off, cleared the pad, and it was flawless. It was sublime. All that time that this entire team had put in to this vehicle finally paid off. I believe the purpose of the ARIES program is to leverage our lessons learned from the Apollo program and from the Space Shuttle program and integrate that into an optimal vehicle. And that vehicle will be able to uh, take us to explore planets, the asteroid belt, and also set up a lunar base on the moon. The ARIES rocket is actually built on the technology that we use currently on the Space Shuttle today, which has flown hundreds of, of successful missions. We know it's safe, and we know it's reliable, and we have the experience to make knowledge-based engineering decisions on that. You can't just start a new program and have that history. That's why it's so important to continue with ARIES. The purpose and mission of the ARIES project is to continue America's legacy in space. It's to provide a new, safer, more reliable, and more cost-efficient means to get astronauts into space and one day to Mars. With the ARIES program, it's just going to extend our, our capabilities with human spaceflight. We'll support the International Space Station and explore further. The whole essence is to explore and see what's out there, and I think ARIES is the vehicle that's going to get us there. For DM1, uh, my job was to uh, integrate all of the requests for instrumentation. Before every flight, we have to have a prediction so that we know exactly what the motor is going to do during launch. And those predictions are based on what we gather from static test data. Being a quality engineer, I think it's really important, obviously, that we have good quality parts going into space. We take astronauts to space. We have human lives at stake every time we launch a motor. We work on the development of new propellants um, and evaluate new materials. Uh, related to ARIES, we uh, conduct standardization mixes to see um, that the materials are uh, mixing the same, the test results look in family, uh, and make sure there are no anomalies. I think the uh, United States going into, into space, further into space, it is critical for the nation to maintain our, our lead in the, in, in the race for technological advances been to the moon, but it's been 40 years. We need to get back there. Uh, you know, going to Mars, you know, it, it's the next step. I think human space exploration is one of the greatest things that um, the world can do. There's so much technology that we receive from all the experiments and the hurdles that we have to overcome to actually make it into space. I think it's important for America and humanity in general to continue our expansion into space. What we do and what we accomplish in the space program advances science and technology for all of humankind. So it's kind of like our legacy to the world.